Hi, my name is Dr. Kim Levenhagen, and I am a physical therapist, and I'm also associate professor in the program in physical therapy at St. Louis University. I use shared clinical decision making with all of my patients. Physical therapists offer a unique skill set in that we look at the patient's home situation, we look at how they move, how they function, and we can bring that to our interprofessional team members to help to incorporate that into the plan of care. I had a 17-year-old patient and he wouldn't get out of bed. The nurses and the physicians were scratching their head on why he wasn't compliant or why he wasn't adherent to the plan. And so as I was walking into this patient's room, I started talking to him about him. I didn't say, oh, we're going to do physical therapy right now. I found out more about the patient. He was a track star. And so with that, he was unable to participate in his track. He was going to college in the fall and was afraid he was going to lose his scholarship because of his pelvic fracture from the car accident. And then also he had a two-story home and his high school um, had stairs and no elevator because he was from a rural community. And he was worried about missing prom. All of those things are items I had to consider. I had to seek out his values. Um, I had to find out what he really wanted from the goal and what he needed from physical therapy and what he needed from the healthcare team. I then incorporated his family and found out what did they need for the healthcare team because um, being 17 years old and that he was going to go home. And so what was interesting about that is I explained to them that insurance would only cover one assistive device. They would have to choose between the wheelchair or the walker. We would have to make a plan about his home and how we could do the home setup and explain to him about what would be covered by insurance, what we could do as physical therapy, and then what could be done um, by the family. That afternoon, um, I came back to see him. He was sitting up in a chair. He had his earbuds in and he was singing along to a song. And I asked him, I said, oh, I just came in to see if you wanted to get out of bed. And he says, well, I've already gotten out of bed. My parents are looking into a wheelchair. Um, I'm ready to get up and walk with you. And it was because I took the time to listen to his goals, listen to his values, listen to what he needed from the health care plan it was that we were able to move forward. We've all read systematic reviews and clinical practice guidelines, and they all end with there's not one solution for every single patient. Not every patient who has a hip replacement is treated the same. Some have a ranch style home, some people have steps, some people have help, some people don't have help. Some patients have certain comorbidities that other patients don't have. The um, International Classification in Functioning and Disability from the World Health Organization has those components. Not only do we look at the health aspect of it, but we think about the environment and we think about the patient. Shared clinical decision making empowers the patient. It improves adherence. It improves the patient having an ability to be a part of the plan and then help to make decisions that work best within their lifestyle.